Hey, it's Mario. Mario, bombs away. Pigs in space. Anyway, you all remember the Muppet Show, yeah? Never mind. Now, this may come as a surprise to most of you to learn that Mario was conscripted into the Italian army at some point in the past. The poor guy didn't manage to avoid the draft and ended up in the middle of a war zone. Let's take a look. Okay, same drill as usual. This is an on-screen simulation of the original Nintendo panorama screen handheld. Uh, yada yada yada. As you can see the controls are almost identical to the Snoopy panorama screen handheld. Left and right and an up down button instead of a hit button. I suppose they could have used an up-down controller, but opted for a button to toggle between the two positions instead. Game A for wimps, game B for those with a death wish. Let's go back up to the main screen and open it. And I'll start game B, because I'm hardcore. Okay, you have to move Mario left and right in an attempt to deliver a bomb to his brother-in-arms on the other side of the jungle. And he'll place the bombs above the enemy soldiers for you. You need to get five bombs in place before they detonate and blow up the enemy army. The enemies try to set off your bombs with their torches. So you have to keep the bomb low to avoid that. But the heavy smoker, who's supposedly on your side, carelessly throws his cigar butts onto the oil spill, so you have to lift the bomb up to avoid the flame from that. So you see they were right. Smoking really does kill. And if your bomb gets detonated before you manage to get all five in place, you lose a life, obviously, and you have to start again from scratch. The controls on the keyboard are the same as the Snoopy panorama screen handheld. Left and right cursor keys and the right control key. I first saw this game at school. A boy brought it in who refused to give me a go of it if I remember correctly. A swine. But that doesn't matter now because you can download this game for free from Luca's website. If you click on more info and click on the link, nearly got all five bombs in place. Come on, take it. There we go. Woo! The most surprising aspect of this game is seeing Mario dressed as a soldier. I'm sure most of us are more familiar with Mario as a plumber in the Super Mario Brothers games. So this is something of a departure from the Mario we all know and love. We do, don't we? We all love Mario, don't we? Anyway, this game is more fun to play than a lot of other handhelds, even if the idea for the gameplay is partly copied from Turtle Bridge. I think I'll give the game a solid 8 out of 10. Next up is Donkey Kong Jr. Coming soon. Exclusive to this channel. Don't miss it. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.